Hey gang, today I'll be talking about values and I'll be showing you the process of painting a, a quick cloud study based on a photograph that I'd taken uh, using Corel Painter 2016. So uh, let's get to it. Okay, so I was fortunate enough to have somebody respond to my request to ask me about something that they'd like me to talk about uh, in these videos. So I'd like to thank my good friend and collaborator, Jess Vandenberg. I really appreciate you getting back to me. It's great to know that somebody out there is paying attention to stuff. Um, so anyways, that's wonderful. Jess and I had the opportunity to collaborate on a project through Pulp Studios Inc. Um, Jess is, uh, well, she's, her position has changed at Apega, but she still works at Apega and uh, we worked on a really cool project together that was targeted at young uh, women and aboriginals um, hoping to pique their interests in opportunities in engineering. And so we created a, a web site and um, a, an online casual game experience that the kids could partake in and learn about game, or sorry, about engineering. And so it was a long project. It, it, uh, it was very challenging and Jess was just amazing through the whole process. Very gracious, very helpful, very um, a guiding voice throughout the process. and. Um, we got to know each other pretty well. I, I had the opportunity to go and meet with her um, on a regular basis at the APEGA office. And uh, I think uh, through that pro pro process, I feel as though we uh, connected and we grew a friendship. I unfortunately don't get to see you as often as I'd like to, Jess, but uh, I do thank you for being a constant support and uh, taking interest in what I'm doing and also what Kelly and I are doing in pulp, uh, at Pulp. Um, really appreciate you. Anyways, uh, she asked me, the question was, what, uh, what are my values? What do I value? Um, and, uh, what's important to me as a creator? Um, and, uh, that question is great. And it's, it's, uh, it's something that I think as, um, you know, creators, I think a lot of artistic people often think about stuff that they really care about. Creative people tend to be compassionate and sympathetic people who uh, think about the world around them, look at the world around them, um, and care about people. They also have a tendency sometimes to get introspective and forget about the world around them as they work on their creative endeavors. Um, but uh, being a part of a company and uh, one that in years past was trying to create a culture internally and a public face for the business and also just some systems for the company. Um, Kelly and I at Pulp Studios uh, went through the process of figuring out our mission and, and values and goals and stuff uh, of that nature. Uh, so I, I thought maybe there's sort of like two aspects to answering this question. One is uh, reflecting on what values we sort of set out and established as a company um, and the other one is sort of my personal values um, as a as a person but also as a uh, illustrator um, and someone who's pursuing these children books children's books uh, so I'm going to sort of answer it in two parts uh, for you so the first part is uh, in relationship to Pulp Studios Incorporated and we uh, Kelly and I are friends from high school and then we started the company after uh, having been in the industry sort of apart from each other for a while. Um, and so as in high school, uh, we got to know each other quite well and we spent a lot of time drawing together and it's kind of a, a, a really beneficial sort of scenario for starting a business, I think. Uh, I know that there's a lot of horror stories about people not doing well with um, working with friends in sort of a business capacity. Thankfully, Kelly and I have had great success uh, working together and we always seem to um, just work very well and, and collaborate well and trust each other and um, always seem to be able to uh, compromise well and um, 
often are just on the same page creatively and also uh, in what we take on. There's been projects in the past where we've turned down because we felt they didn't align with our um, our values and what we value as people and as a company and um, we've always agreed on these things and it's it's great to be um, working with someone who shares uh, common interests with you. So the values, the main values that we set out um, for Pulp Studios Incorporated are as follows. Honesty. As a company, we try to uh, operate on a policy of honesty with our clients. If things are, uh, wherever we're at in a project, we try to communicate really well with our, with our clients about the status of a project. And we try to communicate those things as openly and honestly as we can to the best of our ability. Integrity, um, where our relationship with our client is concerned, we try to um, work really closely with them um, and collaboratively, which creates sort of an air or an atmosphere where we both know what page we're on as uh, in a relationship between a client and a, and, uh, a provider. Um, charitability is a huge one for us. So we're always looking for ways that we can give back to the community. Uh, we do this uh, in different ways, um, donating whatever we can financially from a fiscal perspective. As a small organization, that doesn't always amount to tons, but we try to give what we can where we can. Um, we try to give of our time um, to do teaching engagements or speaking uh, to youth and um, anybody who basically uh, is looking for some, you know, guidance in terms of art. We spent a lot of we've spent a lot of time over the years working with young, uh, up and coming illustrators or creatives. Uh, just sitting with them for coffee, going through their portfolio, things like things of that nature, and just sharing our experience and giving them encouragement. Um, we ha we've done some speaking engagements at post secondary schools, uh, and these haven't been paid gigs. They're just things that we really like doing, and it gives us an opportunity to share kind of our story, but also to encourage and hopefully inform young people about possibilities of their in their career paths. Um, collaboration, uh, we really work on collaboration, uh, is a really big part of what we do. Um, most of our projects require a relationship for them to be carried out well and to be executed so that they provide well for the client. Um, so those are sort of the base, I guess, what I'd say, I would say underlying values. Um, I guess on top of that, with our work, we're always trying to achieve high quality um, so we try to invest ourselves into our work as much as possible so that uh, what we're producing for our clients is above um, the average uh, of what they would find in the marketplace through other service providers. Um, we're always trying to push quality and uh, grow as creators and to be leaders in that respect. Um, so I think that that probably covers the basics of pulp pretty well in a nutshell. Uh, and I think a lot of those sort of spill over into my own personal work too. Um, so I'll kind of go through those in my own personal sense as well here. So quality uh, spills over for sure. Uh, it's difficult for me. Um, as an individual, uh, quality is a challenge for me. I tend to uh, be a person of many ideas um, and few uh, fewer finished pieces. So I have a hard time getting from 80% complete to complete. Um, I'll, sometimes in my own personal work, I'll get to 80% and then I'll see another shiny idea uh, or something that excites me creatively and I'll jump into that and leave behind an unfinished um, thing or thought or idea or piece of creative work. And uh, working with Kelly has been incredibly fantastic for me because he's he's a bit uh, opposite. He's very um, uh, finish oriented. Uh, he's very concerned about the small details that make a finished piece um, shine. And he pushes me that way, which is great. Um, but I'm always trying to grow as a creator. I'm, I'm 
painfully aware of my lack of uh, of ability. I, I need to. I have a sense that I need to constantly work on my craft and grow in it, and um, I think I will probably always hold that uh, feeling. I don't think I'll ever feel like I've made it, um, and I don't know if I'd want to. I think there's a bit of uh, healthy tension there, as long as I don't let it overwhelm me and uh, cause me not to move forward, because that does, that can and has happened in the past. Um, so teachability is another thing that I value personally. I want to always learn and I want to always be teachable. Um, and, and to look at my contemporaries and people around me as, um, sources of inspiration and wisdom, uh, for me to, um, glom off of, I guess, uh, and to, uh, learn from, uh, I just feel like, uh, everybody has different ways of approaching things. And I think, especially in this day and age with technology being such as it is, there's so many uh, variable ways to approach the creative process. And uh, I want to always be open to learning and growing uh, and growth. Uh, that So growth is uh, as a creator and as a person is one of my values too. Um, so I want to remain teachable. And uh, through that, I want to see growth. So I want to see growth in my work um, where I feel like uh, as a creator, I'm, I'm making progress and I'm seeing um, improvements in how I'm able to finish stuff and becoming, I guess, just more content with the work is, is one way I measure that, personally more content with the work. Um, and, and that's, uh, yeah, I need to continue to grow. Uh, as an as a illustrator, as a storyteller, as a writer, um, th these are all things that I... Uh, areas in which I want to grow in my career. Um, I think there's some goals attached to that uh, growth, which would be sort of like I'd love to receive some awards for my work down the road. Can, more awards is one way in which I um, I gauge my my success uh, by entering vent, by entering competitions. Uh, I, I tend to find myself pushed by those competitions, but also um, the people, other people that enter them, and then also. You know, even if I don't win, I look at the winner's work and I and I, I take something from that experience. So, um, passion for what I do is a is a personal value. Um, I think if I ever get to a point where I'm not um, motivated or driven to create in some way or another, whether it's through writing or drawing or painting, I I probably will give it up. Um, but uh, so far, thankfully, I. I've been able to maintain a passion for what I'm doing. And I think that uh, the personal, on the personal side, the personal work is something that promotes that passion for me and motivates me in my day-to-day -day work through Pulp Studios. It provides a platform for me to experiment and, and try new things and uh, express myself a little bit more um, succinctly than it does through doing uh, service-based work for other people. Um, so perseverance is something that I value as, uh, on a personal level. Um, I think that that's another component of not, of the, I'd probably throw in the towel kind of thing. If I, if I didn't have a level of perseverance, um, and if I didn't continue to try and grow that, uh, value, uh, inside myself, I probably would have thrown the towel in on a number of occasions. Um, it's a hard road being a, a self-employed person. So running a business, being a creative person, trying to run a business, uh, has its own dynamic of, uh, dynamics of <laughs> complication. Uh, and yeah, I think, uh, just persevering through the creative process time and time again, is a challenge. And I find as I get older, uh, this is, I don't want to sound like an old man. I feel young and I, I try to embrace that. But uh, um, I know that as I get older, things get more challenging. Um, you, you know, your, my time is less uh, permissive um, or permissible. What's the right word? I don't know. Time permits me less, less opportunity to indulge in my creative en endeavors than it used to. Um, and that that's a big challenge. Um, so I think those are sort of uh, aspects. So sort of the creative value aspects of what I do. 
or what I'm trying to do. Um, I think teaching would be be in there too. I want to teach. Uh, I want my work to be re responded to in a way that somebody feels like they receive something out of it, whether it's, um, you know, purely on just a, that was a nice uh, piece of art and they get joy out of it um, from looking at it. Or um, hopefully, especially with my children's book work, I really want the pieces to mean something to people or maybe some people c can connect to some of the themes and uh, maybe the themes will relate to their own lives and they will find uh, a learning of some kind in it or maybe a reflection, a reflective process. It'll allow them to maybe process some stuff that, that they haven't thought about. Um, that, that's my hope. And, and I guess I don't know if I would call that a value. I, I think it is. It's something that I value. I really value um, um, art and creativity in a sense of it being able to shape and form culture and inform culture and touch people's hearts and, and open uh, avenues for communication. And so um, that, that's something that I, I sort of try to push in my own work. Um, and then sort of on a, on a bigger sort of picture life, uh, life aspect, which pushes into my art creativity world, um, the things that I value most are my family and, and my faith. And um, my family is, is amazing and I have an amazing wife and two beautiful children um, and uh, they mean the world to me and uh, a lot of what I do, a majority of what I do these days is, is in service of that, of those relationships uh, and I think that those relationships promote my values. So my striving for perseverance and for growth and to be teachable and um, to push the quality of my work, all that stuff comes out of a desire or is, Im or is improved upon or motivated through a desire to be um, the best provider and friend and father and husband and uh, everything that I can be for this family. Uh, so, um, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of a, an interesting thing, uh, while family takes up, uh, time and pulls me away from my creative work. I do think that, uh, personally as a creator, um, of artwork, of illustrations and stuff, I don't think my work would have the same content and richness and um, I don't think there'd be as as much substance to it had I not um, been gifted with this family um, and be blessed to be a part of it. So I'm very grateful for that um, and I value it immensely. I also, um, you know, my faith is a huge um, through line in my life uh, that guides a lot of what I do and the choices that I make as an individual. Uh, and it impacts um, my day to day, um, and I would I wouldn't be truthful if I said it wasn't a struggle for me. Um, I struggle often with my uh, my faith and with um, being, I guess, I don't, I don't know what the term is, but it's a challenge for me. And uh, but I do know that uh, without the faith that I have, um, I. I I've said this many times to many people, I think I'd be in a much worse uh, place than I am today, if not for, uh, for um, Jesus and for my relationship with him. And I'm, I'm so grateful for uh, all the experiences that I've had um, since I was 20 and uh, made a choice to, to follow God. So, um, you know, there's a lot of different uh, belief systems out there and, and I hope that, uh, you know, people can keep an open mind and uh, you know, accept, um, you know, m me sharing this and being forward with it. But it is something that for me individually has enriched my life in many, many ways. And I believe has saved me from many stupid decisions <laughs> um, and making, you know, a mess of my own life. So uh, I have a lot of, um, I place a ton of value on that. And the people that I've uh, encountered through, you know, the churches that I've been involved in, um, which are a few, um, 
those people have really impacted my life in, in very, very positive and meaningful ways and uh, have helped me through some of the more challenging times in my life um, since, I, since, you know, in my adult years here. So uh, those things for me are, are extremely important. Um, so I think, that, uh, I think that about wraps it up. I, uh, I don't know. I think that covers kind of my values in a pretty good, pretty, ro uh, I don't know, pretty robust way. If there's, if you have any questions, I mean, uh, feel free to ask me, Jess, uh, you in particular, if there's anything else that you'd like to know, or if you feel like, like I glossed over anything, um, by all means, let me know. I really, again, I really appreciate you, um, reaching out and, and asking me this question. And, um, I think I would, want to leave it uh, by saying if there's any, and I, see I don't, part of my thing is right now I don't know who's going to be watching these videos. I don't know if uh, if young creatives are going to be watching it, if, um, you know, I don't know where it's going to land. But if there are any young creative people that are sort of seeking out how they are going to move forward as a creative, what your career path might be, what you're wanting to do as, a, as an individual, I would encourage you to go through a process of examining your values, um, even if you're not a young creative, but maybe you're in a, in a position where you're at a, a job right now, or, or there's something that you have a passion for that you've been putting off doing stuff uh, in, or even just generally in your life, if you've, if you've never really sat down and written out, like, what are my values? What do I actually um, want to hold true to. If I died today, what would I want people to write on my, on my gravestone kind of deal? Um, I think it's a super valuable exercise to sit down and write them down and, and then look at it and be like, what is it? What do I care about? What, what are my values? Um, and, and am I doing um, things in my life to promote those values? Am I doing things to push me forward where I want to be? Oh, I should mention, I think, I don't know, I think I missed it on here, but one of the values for, for Pulp Studios, which uh, is also a personal value for me, is, is fitness or, or personal health. Um, and we, Kelly and I both work really hard, um, even though we're old, old dudes, we work pretty hard at keeping healthy. And as a creative person, you really need to focus on that and, and make that a, a one priority in your life because... Um, sitting at a computer all day can be very damaging to your body. I've, I've heard somebody say that they say that uh, they're saying that sitting at a desk is the new smoking, that it's so bad for your health. Um, and I sit at a desk all the time. I got to figure out my studio space. I'd like to get a stand up uh, desk or just get, if I, I've got this big uh, drafting table that I might bring in here and that might, might allow me to stand up more while I work. So, anyways, um, physical fitness uh, is important. You need to make it a priority. You need to make time for it um, and, and invest into yourself in that way because uh, it helps. It helps me in every other part of my life to be physically fit or to try to be physically fit and active. Um, okay, where was I before I went on that little tangent? Uh, oh, so yeah, sit down, write out your values and really examine what is important to you. And, and it's good to go back to it every now and then. And, and do a personal sort of like uh, inventory of where you're at. Have you stayed true to these values? Are you actually investing in them? Um, and just be totally brutally honest with yourself. Uh, and then uh, and if you've missed anywhere or if there's something that you feel that you haven't paid enough um, attention to, you know, focus down on it. Do the things that you need to do to, do to um, improve on that. So that's my encouragement to my friends out there that are young, young creatives and to uh, anybody else who's, who's never kind of done that process. It is very valuable, and I encourage you to take that challenge on. Um, so again, thanks, Jess, for reaching out uh, and asking me the question. And um, I hope you enjoyed watching this little painting that I uh, threw together, um, come together. I... Uh, it's just a little study, uh, but I, I've really been enjoying those and want to, to do more of those as time uh, allows. Anyhow, um, take care, you guys, and uh, I will be doing more process videos uh, coming up. I've, I've been actually happy that I've been hitting almost my monthly, um, what I set for myself as a requirement of doing like a monthly video. So 
uh, we're getting there. And uh, Inktober is coming up. Woo, it's crazy. Jake Parker, uh, he put out uh, some stuff on his, I think it was his Twitter feed or his Instagram feed recently where he said you need to do a 30-day challenge. And I've been thinking about that. And I think I might um, explore trying to ink um, the pages for uh, my own uh, for my children's book, Shelter. Uh, I'm thinking I might um, go after that. But Kelly and I were also talking about maybe um, using that, using Inktober as a motivation to do some work on Ina Brow, our uh, graphic novel that we're working on. So I don't know, we'll see. Something's coming. And so it's good. I'm kind of excited about the fall, back into routine here. Uh, the leaves are starting to change color and a new season is upon us. So, or it's almost upon us. Anyhow, everybody, thanks for listening. I uh, really appreciate everybody's uh, engagement in, in what I've been doing and look forward to sharing more and uh, uh, appreciate any feedback, questions, or suggestions you might have. All right. Take care, guys.